Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Peace of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. So today I'm doing a bunch of stuff. So this is a fiber paste from TriArt that I laid down on a canvas. I let it dry and I was kind of just doing some experimenting with a pearl pour over some texture. And I knew it was gonna be a little bit funky because when the pearl the, the, the paint gets kind of hung up on that texture and it's going to create not these perfect pearls like we're used to, but um, I just thought, oh, I'm going to give it a try, see what happens. So I started layering these paints um, so that I could get some peacock pearls, which I do get some, but again, because of the tooth of this texture, it doesn't create a lot, um, but there is some, and, and it, it does look very interesting. So all of those paints that I just laid down had the satin enamel in the base paint. Now these two paints that I'm laying over top, it's the Modern Masters Champagne and the Modern Masters Pearl White, just mixed with Floetrol and GAC 800. So no satin enamel in these two paints. And I'm just gonna basically uh, stretch these over top to get to a very thin um, paint over top of those base paints to get those pearls to pop up. So it's a it's kind of a it's a quick stretching, but because of the tooth on this texture, it does take this a little bit longer to to be able to stretch that that uh, pour over paint over top which is fine because the pearls were not popping through was super fast which is kind of I kind of like that with the colored pearls um, the the pearls don't pop through as fast as when we use the white pearl recipe for some reason. Well, actually, I kind of know that. The reason why is that deco art that I use a lot of times in my base paint with the white is really, really reactive and it'll start reacting immediately. Um, but the ratios that I use in the, col the colored pearl cells, um, it is not as reactive, which is nice because you have a little bit more leeway when you're stretching the paint, they don't start forming immediately. And what happens if they, they form immediately is they start getting wonky as you're tilting. So you can see they're starting to pop through a little bit there. So I stopped tilting, I set it down, and now this is just a time lapse. I think I waited like 30, 35 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that. And this is what ended up happening so this is just kind of a quick time lapse i'm gonna show you number one the wet results kind of a little bit closer here and then the dry results so those are hands-off handles you can get those on amazon they attach to the underside of your canvas and it makes it so nice for when you're tilting especially with the pearl pores because they're messy so you can see there's the texture and it didn't get like typical round pearls like you normally would in a pearl pour. I mean, I did get some, but because again, because of that texture, it kind of got hung up on the texture and it doesn't allow those super round pearls, but I still think it was kind of a cool look. Now, I this was a test piece, and so I decided that I would go a little bit further, test it out a little bit more, and I decided to try something new that I have never done before. But like you see here, what I do is I take a picture on my iPad, and then I sketch out where I want the texture to be, and then I, I kind of get it to where I want to want it to be and then what I do is I just use my little chalk marker here I think I got this at the Dollar Tree 
I did recently go back to the Dollar Tree because I've had this for quite some time and I didn't see it at the Dollar Tree I was at, but that doesn't mean that I, they don't have them anymore. But this was such, this is such a cool little um, trick because, well, let me, let me tell you this first. I'm using the extra heavy molding paste from Golden mixed with the Champagne Modern Masters paint um, you see this little craft writer again it's it's the chalk um, and this erases really easily with water so I really like that so I, I put my modeling paste and paint and mix it up and then I put it into the piping bag with a little thin um, tip for uh, the to be piped and I just went to town. I This is the first time I've ever done this. I did practice a little bit uh, before I started, but I did, I did start and I scraped a few times until I kind of started getting the hang of it. And this whole first like top part of it, I, you know, I didn't really feel super comfortable with it, but um, and honestly, you guys, this is sped up six times. So this part here is sped up six times. That's how slow going this kind of is until you get the hang of it. Um, and even once you do get the hang of it, it's not super fast. But uh, as I got towards the bottom of it, I started getting more of the hang of it and getting more into a groove. And so I felt way more comfortable doing this so it is something that just kind of takes some practice takes a little bit of time but um, I'm gonna go here very soon from uh, six times sped up to 16 because otherwise you guys will be here for two hours with me <laughs> as I do this and you'll see also that uh, I did start this. Okay, here we go. We're really starting to speed up now. And once I got to the middle, I had a visitor and I did take a break for a little while. Um, and then I came back to it. So you'll see that there is a part where the paint looks a little darker on this upper section than the new section. Uh, which is a little bit lighter, but it all dried the same color. So I hope that makes sense. So coming up here is where I get the visitor. Okay, here we go. That's where I got the visitor. Took a break, started adding in again. And um, down here is where I started to feel a lot more comfortable getting my squiggles down. I really, I actually think this is kind of, I mean, it was fun. It was something super fun to do, you guys. And different and interesting. So at first I was like, is this just weird or is it cool or I don't know. I wasn't exactly sure. It took me a little bit. And then um, I came down the next morning after this had started to dry a bit and I thought, oh no, this is cool. Like, I really liked it. And I posted a picture on Facebook to see what people thought. And a lot of people thought it was cool, but then they were, I don't think they were very sure about this color. And I've been debating if I should do something with the color, but I don't know if I'm going to. I'm gonna sit on it for a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys this. It's the champagne color as the texture. Um, I might change it, but I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. So here it is. This is the wet result of this technique. It was super fun, you guys. Like, I really, really had a good time. Can't wait to try this again. Like, this is 11 by 14, and it took me quite a while. So I know that if I do go bigger, it's going to be quite a project. And that's the thing with these texture pieces, they usually take a lot longer, but I like it. I'm excited about trying something different. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I will be teaching this at the Fluid Art Experience coming up here May 23rd through the 
5th. Uh, here's the trailer in case you guys don't know what fluid art experience it is. Um, I'll be teaching some fluid art classes. There's going to be eight different artists. Wonderful, wonderful artists. A great time. And um, I'm really excited to, to, to teach some new classes here. So I'm going to let you watch the trailer. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you all, and I will see you on the next one.